Cooperation Underworld was the United States government's code name for the cooperation of Italian organized crime figures from 1942 to 1945. The aim of the operation was to counter Axis spies and saboteurs along the U.S. seaboard ports, avoid wartime labor union strikes, and limit theft by black marketeers of vital war supplies. In the first three months after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the U.S. lost 120 merchant ships to German U-boats and surface raiders in the Battle of Atlantic, and in February 1942, the ocean liner SS Normandy, a captured French ship that was being refitted as a troop ship in New York Harbor, was allegedly sabotaged and sunk by arson in the port of New York. The mafia boss Albert Anastasia, an Italian-American mobster, hitman and crime lord, one of the founders of the modern American mafia, claimed responsibility for the sabotage. Although the United States government claimed the loss of the Normandy was accident, many Americans were skeptical and thought that the destruction was planned and executed by the German intelligence. Several Axis spies and saboteurs were arrested, but no evidence was ever produced linking Axis spies to the loss of the Normandy. After the war, Axis records claimed no sabotage operation had existed, but it is true that the Normandy had a very efficient fire protection system, but it was conveniently disconnected. Nevertheless, fears about possible sabotage or disruption of the waterfront led the U.S. Navy Office of Naval Intelligence to set up a special security unit. They saw the help of Joseph Lanza, who ran the Fulton Fish Market in Lower Manhattan, to get intelligence about the New York waterfront, control the labor unions, and identify possible refueling and resupply operations for German submarines with the help of the fishing industry along the Atlantic coast. To cover Lanza's activities, he was suggested to approach Charles Luciano, who was an important boss of the five New York Mafia crime families. Luciano agreed to cooperate with the authorities in hopes of consideration for early release from prison. Luciano was in the Clinton Correctional Facility, sometimes referred to as New York's Little Siberia at the time, serving a 30 to 50 year sentence for running a prostitution ring. For his cooperation, he was moved to a more convenient and comfortable open prison in Great Meadows in May 1942. Luciano's influence in stopping sabotage remains unclear, but authorities did note that strikes on the docks stopped after the deal was made. As the war raged on, the Allies began formulating their plans to invade Italy. The US took the lead on the operation and quickly decided that the island of Sicily must be taken first. To help prepare for the invasion, the US government called upon their old associates, Luciano and the Mafia. This made sense for a number of reasons. The Mafia weren't fans of Italian dictator Benito Mussolini. Mussolini had brutally cracked down on the organization, essentially sending them into hiding. More importantly though, Luciano and his associates had Sicilian contacts who would be able to provide the Americans with key intelligence and logistical support needed for the invasion. The US government called upon these Mafia associates to provide drawings and pictures of the Sicilian coastline and harbors, which they promptly received in mass. This information was used to plan the Allied amphibious landing, which commenced in July of 1943. Some of these Sicilian contacts even fought alongside the American forces against the Germans and Italians. According to the most accounts, Luciano was integral in facilitating this operation, codenamed Operation Husky, and even offered to personally go to Sicily to help in the war effort. 38 days into the invasion, the Allies succeeded in driving the enemy out of Sicily, 
but the Battle of Sicily was over. To this day, the extent to which the associates and assistance provided by Luciano and the Mafia held in Operation Husky was debated. Some suggested that Luciano's contribution to the war effort and Operation Husky were so extensive that he was being considered for the Medal of Honor. Others are more skeptical, suggesting that Luciano lacked the Sicilian contacts to make a substantial difference. The truth most likely lies somewhere in the middle. According to Luciano's lawyer, his client led to the locating of many Sicilian-born Italians who gave information of military value on conditions in Sicily, and that he helped the military authorities for two years leading to the invasion of Sicily. Upon conclusion of the war in the summer of 1945, Luciano, who was still serving time behind the bars, petitioned to the state of New York for executive clemency. He insisted that his cooperation in both Operation Underworld warranted him immediate freedom. In January of 1946, New York Governor Thomas Dewey granted Luciano's appeal for clemency. However, it was decided that he could not stay in the U.S. and was to be deported back to Italy, where he was born. Luciano was apparently quite upset that he had to leave America, yet on the 9th of February 1946 he was placed on a ship destined for Italy, never to return to the U.S. Despite his exile, Lucky Luciano remained a powerful figure within the Mafia crime organization in both Italy and the U.S. until his death in 1962. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.